Hi, and welcome to TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Up next in our lineup of films set during the Spanish Civil War is a dark, brooding political drama about a man of the cloth and a woman of the night who fall in love amidst the extremely dangerous early days of the war. From MGM in 1960, it's the Angel War Red. Dirk Bogard plays the young Spanish priest, while Ava Gardner is the kind-hearted prostitute he falls for. If there's ever been a forbidden love, it's definitely a priest and a prostitute. The complexities of the story, however, are second only to the complexities of the production. Writer-director Nunnally Johnson, who adapted the film from a novel, was really in over his head. Johnson was a seasoned studio man, comfortable with the limits of the Hollywood production system. But The Angel War Red was shot on location in Italy, where things were a bit looser. There were problems with the extras, who were organized by the Mafia, problems with the Vatican, and problems with the ratio of communists to Catholics on Johnson's payroll. Really. One of Johnson's duties required him to keep a running count of the number of communists and Catholics. The shadiness of the Mafia connections to the unions was something Italian director Vittorio De Sica, who plays a supporting role, knew well. So De Sica demanded $1,000 in cash every day before the cameras rolled. Otherwise, he didn't trust he'd get paid. The day Johnson finished principal photography, he was presented with a ticket to leave town. The Angel War Red was the last film he ever directed. I love Nunnally Johnson, perhaps for no other reason than this. When discussing the movie years later, he said, quote, I never saw the final cut. I've never seen the picture. I don't know what happened to it. MGM did release it, and here now is the overlooked result of Nunnally Johnson's serious labor, also with Joseph Cotton from 1960, The Angel War Red.